What up people, Bernie back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to go over Ozark, Season 1, Episode 2, titled Blue Cat. The episode begins with Marty and his wife leaving the kids at the hotel while they head out to take care of things. Today, while your mom is buying us a new house, uh, you two are to plant yourselves here. That is your job. Everything we have of value is in that room. No one goes in that room whose last name is not Bird. Understood? Love you both. The next scene is Marty and Wendy having a serious conversation. Maybe I should get a job. I don't think so, Wendy. Seven and a half bucks an hour is not really going to put a dent in our oh, problem. Oh, come on. I have a master's degree. What's our story for the kids? What do you mean? Well, they see this this polite dance that we're doing in front of them. They, they hear the constant edge in your voice. Uh -huh. We could tell them the truth, Wendy. How would that be? There was an innocent man who was murdered. Mm. He was thrown off his balcony. People cheat! Oh! Yeah. I was unhappy. You're not exactly blameless in this. Oh! For this house, I want you to find one as nice as possible, <coughs> but as cheap as possible. And we are not husband and wife. We're just business partners. And our oh. job is to raise those kids. But you're absolutely right that I share some blame for this. I should have caught Bruce. I was in charge of the numbers. I should have seen it coming. Mm. Why does she get so many texts every night? Why does she have to leave the room to make a phone call? I wonder who's fucking my wife. So that's my bad. I don't forget how you emptied our bank accounts when you knew I needed that money, Wendy. You knew I needed it. Mm -hmm. And I doubt very, very much that you did that by yourself, that you did that in a vacuum. So mm -hmm. my memory is crystal clear. The satisfying sound of your lover smacking the pavement mm -hmm. is the only thing that gets me to sleep every night. Mm. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> She punched him! Fuck that. Open the goddamn door! This kid probably didn't want to me. She punched him! Mm -hmm. That set you off? I mean, he didn't I mean, it's not right what happened to him, though. He should have died. Mm -hmm. It's like, shit. Um, he's kind of happy that he died. That's not good. Nah. <laughs> you could be mad at him. Wendy is on a mission to get her family a new home. Oh, yeah. Don't be shy. You know what to do. Oh, yeah. Get after it. Hey, um, I'm Sam Dermody. Um, Peanut butter. But Ew! Yeah, uh, dogs are looking at off his feet. I'm Sorry. I need a house. Get yourself yeah. together. Give your girl some water. I'll meet you outside. Yeah, you got it. Marty ends up renting a storage unit. Hmm. Let's get some ice on that lip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a mean right hook. Sir, you are delinquent on, on your property taxes. You, you got those... Those, those tenants that are suing you, maybe this could work for both of us. Plus, I'll tell you what, I'm looking for storage space myself. If that's a unit right there, I will take that big one. Hundred. I'm gonna spend money to make money. Is that how that went? That's what I said, yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? What about our business arrangement? New tricks don't appeal to me. Rich do on the first, Skipper. Marty is having a tough time with the local businesses, and Wendy is having an equally hard time finding a house. Ah! Oh! Oh, and you'd be surprised if you know, the right here, sir. You can put it right down. Aren't you trying to do something off the businesses in the town? That's what it looks like. That's what you're going to pick the profit off of it. Show me want to see it. Okay. It looks bad on the outside. A bored and angry Charlotte decides to take off with a couple kids leaving Jonah. Dad said to stay here. Is she really gonna leave her brother? What do you think it happen to him? It's very Marty gets figured out at a local bar. Product, you know, oh my I'm God, she's pregnant. And not necessarily have a very. Good, it happens all the time, so. I don't like. It, so I open a big bar. Pregnant stripper? What the fuck? <laughs> I think that uh, a higher caliber dancer. Twenty-five percent. Sorry. My cut. We're washing your money. What you doing, ain't it? He knows. We're done here. He read him. Meanwhile, Charlotte is being way too trusting. Yeah, I know. 
to invite you in. It's smart to give your brother, and it's smart to go with a bunch of boys. Right now. Work for him. Thinks journalism. Wendy finds a home she loves, but there's a big condition on her staying there. My cardiologist tells me that after a year, uh, I'm selling the place under the condition that I be allowed to live here until I die. That's why it's below her budget. So she's going to take it. This poor guy, you don't want to check on I understand. Right, I would feel like I'm condition. responsible for him now. No problem. I don't know how her husband's going to feel that. Let's call the decider to sign off. Who? Your husband. Hi. <laughs> he said the decider. What, she ain't got the say? Let me ask you something. Wow. A year? A year. Can't wait till he goes. 18 months. That's what I feel like. She's just like, okay, so you're gonna, so that's a good thing. That's kind of fucked up. That's very fucked up. I don't know how much to like really read that. That's what I'm reading it as. Turns out the boat Charlotte is on is stolen, and somewhere else Jonah makes a friend. What's going on? Somebody got something. Is it cool? You can have it. You sure? Hustle. Mm -hmm. One thousand five hundred seventy-five dollars. Despite them being so at odds with each other, Marty and Wendy team up in the next scene. Seems your daughter. That's what you get for taking off. They're gonna make her hot out there. Uh, she didn't know this boat was stolen. She thought a teenager running a leaf blower at a prom night motel, living a five million dollar home, drove a ninety thousand dollar boat. I'm guessing that your current choice in lodging is a reflection of frugality rather than necessity. I guess in game, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Can I try? <laughs> um, uh, my guess is that this all comes down to simple run of the mill laziness. Shut up, Marty. How's that? What happened here? <laughs> <laughs> I say go to fucking Branson. Do they pay taxes? We do. Mm. And I put and a we're looking for a home. home. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're they're so the like at odds with each other, but they're yeah. like teaming up right 19. now. As a criminal, her potential's as yet untapped. Hey, uh, you want know, to pick up the uh, brothers Langmore, Wyatt? Do you have a picture of Ruth? Yeah. She is a B&E magician. Oh, that was the one that worked at the hotel. Mm-hmm. Having a can of towels. Marty finds out that when Charlotte and Jonah left their hotel room, they were robbed. <gasps> she takes something of theirs. Good place. Oh yeah. A friend. Yeah, you left. I, I went for a short walk. She probably went, she saw you. I took the computers and bracelet with me. Freaking cute. Come, come on, go, go, it's please. Not gonna be pretty. Come on. Come on. So that help us stole money? Don't tell me. Was that all their money? Ooh, she only left just a little left. Yeah, well, maybe you mentioned that, but what about the cousin, Ruth? So she cleans hotel rooms so she can rob motherfuckers? I told you not to fuck. See, that's the dog's fault. I blame her. Why would he leave them alone with that much money, though? I would never leave them alone with that much money. That would have been in the car. And where we went. It says that girl took something? Yeah. She's cousins with those two assholes? Charlotte. Oh, so they tricked her. Mm, that's... She's cousins with them. Now she's crying. I know where they might have gone, I just don't know how to get there. What are they fishing for, son? Marty ends up finding the fuckers that robbed him. I'm open to suggestions. He's gonna get his money back. <laughs> Watch, he's gonna get it back. Alright, I would do it if that man get my shit back. Why would he leave the kids alone with that much money? I would be too scared. Or at least let your wife. Well, it's because they're pressed for time. Said that she has an idea of where they could be. You know, if they told her anything true about themselves, they're dumb. They're not burglars. We got as much rapture as he does. 
No, you do not. That's my money. money. You have taken. Oh, it. Relax. 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 What do you think you're going to do with all of that cash? Can't you stick it in that hole behind a urinal in whatever the hell place this is? These guys file cash transaction reports to the IRS for any deposits over $10,000. So forget about the bank. Can't go shopping for some fancy truck or something. Not with cash. IRS will be on your front doorstep. I'm only responsible for it. Well, whose money is it? Technically. His name is Omar Navarro. Does that mean anything to you? I'm responsible for it. Oh, you need to think me. this through. Yeah, he's a bad guy. <laughs> He'll kill all y'all. Get it? No. You wouldn't trust damn near three million to someone like you. Well, he trusted me with eight. There's five more million under the bed at that motel and a couple of duffel bags and a suitcase. You steal that money, you're gonna have to kill me. Because there's another man who works for Mr. Navarro, a very serious man, and asked me where that money is. And if I'm still alive, I'm gonna have to tell him that the Langmores stole it. <laughs> He's gonna yeah. and start removing their skin until he locates the rest of you. Them. So mm -hmm. you decide to for all after are their you whole killers? fucking family. Yeah. Thief, bitch. Don't judge me. We ain't built for this life, girl. Okay. We're never, ever going to get another opportunity like this. Who's, the, who's got the big mouth? Who's the weak link with the big mouth and dates the trashy women or the trashy men? Who is it? <laughs> who's the irresponsible one that's going to burn through theirs in like five years? For all this to work, you got to kill me. Mm -hmm. And did you know that Missouri has the death penalty? You're looking at constant, continuous, relentless pursuit for the rest of your life. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Three. Good choice. I'm sorry about Charlotte. <laughs> 30. Nope. We're taking 20,000. It's a mistake. For our trouble and dashed expectations. Okie doke. Deal with it. You deal with it. <laughs> or you can tell Mr. Navarro the truth. You are a poor steward of his money. Mm-hmm. I'll let him know. Get the fuck out, you little ass. You think you tough shit? Why do I have this feeling we both know that you'd be better off dead? Okay. She might be right. He's into some deep shit. Marty hides all the money in the storage unit he rented. The FBI discover the remains of Bruce and the others that were killed. That's the inside of the barrel, because remember they melted those people they killed. Mm, that's right. No, oh, that was teeth. Shit. Marty looks like he's thinking of ending his own life. He's thinking about killing himself? I don't think so. Marty shares a special moment with his son. The next scene was the saddest scene of the episode. The insurance payout is a million dollars, okay? You got the money. You take the kids today. You, you, I lost to take the kids. everything. We have nothing. If I'm dead, we have something. It's simple. You take the kids today. You just need more time. No, I don't, Wendy. This was a dodge. This was a lie. No one can wash $8 million down here. On this piece of paper is Dale's email, and underneath it is an address and the number of a storage unit, and that's where his money is. That's where he'll find it. I was hiking on Horseshoe Bend like, near Sweetwater Bluff. Say that. Say no. that to me. Come on. Horseshoe Bend near Sweetwater Bluff. Okay. 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 He's not going to, obviously. He's sad, though, that he was thinking about it. Let's check if I just want to be Right. He wants them to live. That's what I'm talking about. That's a real man right there. We knew that Marty wasn't going to follow through on hurting himself. There'd be no show if he did. Did 
Could you send an email? I wasn't thinking straight. Was she gonna cry? I knew it. Yeah, because she's like, yo, I didn't think I was gonna see you again. Oh! <laughs> they hide a lot from the kids, you know, because they don't want to show them that shit. Because if she would have cried, they would have known how serious their situation is. Jeez. Marty makes another attempt to get a local business to invest in him. I invest in people, not businesses. I look for people that are passionate about what they do and for some reason, they haven't found success. You invest. Mm -hmm. Come June, business improves incrementally, but it's still not enough to service the debt on the loan I already owe the bank, a loan secured by the mortgage on this property. And then before you know it, it's Labor Day, and I'm in hock to you and the bank, and you force a sale, recoup your investment with interest. Yeah, so get out. You and the fucking bank. Uh, I think this is he can pull through. Just the last trusting, trusting. There's a lot of fucking money. <laughs> While Marty is drinking at the Blue Cat Inn and restaurant, he develops a genius plan. That's the one. you are without a doubt the biggest retard I've ever seen. Really? Really? Hey, don't use that word. What the hell's the matter with you? Right? you? Say something to me? You can't use that word. Mm. You're telling me what I can and can't say. Yeah. yeah. I give that lesson to my kids, they get it right away. Still don't know you can't say that shit? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And you're like, who is this guy? <laughs> you dickhead. I mean, why does he have to feel bad? Just so you can feel good. He wants to see this. Plus, when you're guy. Like him, and you might be able to get away with that kind of crap at the dive bars you're used to going to, but not here. I won't tolerate it. He won't tolerate it. That's right. Thing is, he meant it, but now he's just going well, extra. Now he's just, yeah, <laughs> make what are you doing? Are you gonna get into a bar fight? That's what. I, what is that supposed to be? Hey, bartender, can I see that picture right there? There's a kid and his dad and that big fish. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Whoever took this photo told this kid to push this fish forward so it looked bigger in the picture because he wanted to make this memory as special as possible because he cared. Mm. I don't think so. Now I want you to apologize. Yep. You miserable redneck <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> He's gonna hit him. Oh, God, you got decked twice, three times already. You got a heart. Oh, I think he's a good guy. The episode ends with Charlotte and Jonah finally learning the truth. Jeez. I thought we weren't going to see you for weeks. Who is that? Your new grandpappy. Mr. Diker will be living in the basement for a year. She's awful. Mom, what are we doing here? Your father's laundering money for a Mexican drug cartel. Oh, what? I know they found out eventually. It was in the trailer. I shake it not. Shit. Yeah, they find out. Yeah, what are we to tell him though? He's probably sick of the mask. Ah, that's how it ended. Oh, he directed this. The dude that's on the show. Oh, <laughs> she told him. The daughter's Shh. like, uh, stop yeah. asking questions, Papa. Speechless now. That was a good one. Goddamn, that was a really good episode. Um, Juicy Ozark. Beat it. My thoughts. I thought it was messed up, the scene where Wendy slapped and then punched Marty. What Marty said was also wrong, though. Just because Wendy was cheating didn't mean the man deserved to die. What is going on with Wendy and Marty? Seems their marriage was rocky prior to Marty learning of Wendy's affair. It was nice to see them come together at the police station despite how angry they are with each other right now. Wendy agreeing to purchase the home someone who is deadly ill resides in was interesting. Why do I have a feeling Wendy's going to get close to the previous owner? Marty thinking about ending his own life was so sad. Is he going to get the blue cat in to invest? The little scene he made at the end was hilarious. The FBI's on to Marty. Ooh, how's that going to play out? Now they're even more curious on why Marty left Chicago, given they found the remains of Bruce. It was a very good episode. We enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share my video, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Bye, guys.